Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're making some Italian flatbreads or how we would say in Italian piadine. The beautiful thing about making flatbreads is that they are ready pretty quickly since they don't need to rest for a long time like pizza for example does. Also stick around because I'll share two of my favorite ways to fill them. Well, let's get started. Let's start by mixing the dry ingredients, the flour, the salt and the baking soda. I make a small hole in the center and I pour the olive oil with a little bit of water. I fold in the flour and mix around with a spoon. Then I add the remaining amount of water with half a teaspoon of white vinegar. The vinegar will react with the baking soda and it will help to make the bubbles rise up in the dough. Once the ingredients are incorporated, I put some flour on the counter and I knead the dough until it turns smooth and soft. It won't take long at all. I give it a round shape and I cover it with some plastic wrap. It is best to let it sit for 20 to 30 minutes. While I wait, I usually prepare the filling. And once the dough has rested, I divide it into four equal pieces. I take a piece, and I make it into a ball by rolling it into the counter just like this. And now with a rolling pin, I roll out the dough. You can even use a glass bottle to roll out the dough if you don't have a rolling pin. It works great. I'm not gonna lie, making a perfect circle is not so easy, but I don't mind if it's not exactly perfect. And once it's flat and pretty circular, I pick it up gently and put it in a well preheated pan at high heat. Make sure the pan is really hot, otherwise the flatbread won't bubble up as well. And there is no need to add any oil, just keep spinning the piadina like this to stop it from sticking to the pan. But be careful not to get burned. In just a few minutes, some bubbles will start to form. At this point, you can flip it over and cook it on the other side for less than a minute. Otherwise, if you cook it for longer, it will break once you fold the flatbread. Instead, I'd rather have it crunchy on the outside and softer inside. Also, a trick to make sure that the flatbreads stay foldable and soft is to put them on a plate right from the pan and cover it with a clean cloth. And once they're all done, I add the filling. Let me show you my top favorite fillings. For the first option, I slice up a zucchini, not too thin, not too thick. And I roast it into a hot grill pan. Once it's cooked on both sides, I put them in a plate with some olive oil and fresh minced garlic. And then I add some salt. I did the same thing for a piece of purple onion that will add a sweet touch to the flatbreads. I spread some cream cheese and I add the roasted veggies. I'm going to add some white beans that I dressed with salt, pepper, paprika and lime juice. Also, if you like, I suggest adding some sun-dried tomatoes, which will really enhance the flavor. Close it up and the first piadina is ready. For the second filling, I use some Swiss chard. After washing it well, I chopped out the ends, cut it into smaller pieces and boil it for about four minutes in salted water. Then I strained it really well until most of the water is out and then I fry it up with some olive oil and garlic for a bit. At the end, I added some red chili flakes. I give it a good mix and I set it aside. Now I put one of the flatbreads back in the pan at low to medium heat. I add some mozzarella cheese and I let it melt. It takes just a few minutes and once it's melted, I add the Swiss chard. I close it up and here it is. Another delicious flatbread is ready. Please let me know in the comments below which filling you think you like best. The first one with zucchini or the second one with Swiss chard. Enjoy! Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up, it will really help me out. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for a new video every single Thursday. See you there!